Yo, Elliot. So got this question from our buddy, Some Kind of Nature. He's from Germany. He goes on to say that his girlfriend looks really good. She's a good looking girl, but she would look better if she went to the gym and worked out. So our buddy, Some Kind of Nature, which I wonder, is using all types of manipulating, manipulative techniques to cajole her into going to the gym to perhaps tighten up her ass or, I don't know, whatever it is that your idea of a beautiful woman should be, right? Telling her friends to tell her, just using different manipulative ways to infiltrate her consciousness so that perhaps she can go to the gym and fulfill your ideal of what a woman should look like, right? Does that sound right? My assumption First of all, and it's probably wrong because I'm a bit naive when it comes to these types of things. My assumption is that you love this girl, right? Now, I don't know how old you are, but I met my wife when I was 14 years old. I started dating her then. I'm 34 today. For 20 years, my love for this woman has grown. And not once have I imposed my idea of what a beautiful woman should look like upon her because I fell in love with her, who she is, not the form through which she proceeds in life. You see, if you're looking for somebody that fits your narcissistic idea of what is beautiful purely for sex sake, then hire a hooker, dude. There are lots of really good looking hookers out there. There are lots of really good looking girls with no, without two brain cells to rub together and low self-esteem that you can go and have sex with on, on the weekends, whatever the case may be. But if you really care about this girl, right, and, and again, forgive my naive assumptions, but if you actually care about her, then what you've got to realize is that the people in your life that you have relationships with, that you so-called love, your wife, your girlfriend, your children, whoever it is that you are embarking upon this journey of life with, you got to realize that you don't own them and it is not your responsibility to impose your ideal of what they should be like on them. This really irritates me because it ignores the fact that the strongest version of each one of us is a purely subjective and unique expression of the universal strength, right? That's my name for God. And for you to impose your imagination, right? Because that's really what it is. What is defined as sexual in modern, contemporary, typically Western society, I can't even say that because it's the world around, with fake plastic surgery, body added, body parts added to you, nipped and tucked creatures, has nothing to do with the reality of sexuality, right? Those are commercial, commercial products, right? What you might imagine she should look like, beyond what beauty God has already expressed through her, is a commercial product. And it's one that's been embedded in your mind through Barbie dolls and commercials on television. Do you understand? And it has nothing to do with real sexuality. But if you want to be a narcissistic fuck about the type of women you want to have sex with or be in relationship with, then go find one or make one perhaps. But when you fall in love with a human being, it's their heart, it's their soul, it is the expression of strength through them that you fall in love with and your only responsibility is to support them in becoming the strongest version of themselves. Support them in fulfilling their unique capacity and not imposing your idea of what they should have, be, look like, or any of the such. Do you understand? So my invitation to you is to get over the fact that your girlfriend's not going to the gym to tighten her ass up or to uh, whatever it is that, is that is thought of as sexy. If you want her to go to the gym, which you don't state here, because you want her to be a stronger version of herself, which means she's healthier. See, that's why I focus mostly on strength in this channel. I focus more on functional capacity on this channel. Very few answers do I offer that have anything to do with shaping your body or looking a particular way, right? Because I realize that to become the strongest version of yourself, the work that you do in the gym is purely for allowing the full physiological and energetic strength that's capable to, to you to express itself through your body. That's why we train, that's why I train. I don't know, we've got other channels on, on YouTube that's all about aesthetics. Go watch their channel, right? Go watch their channel and figure out how they manipulate their girlfriends to look a particular way. When you come here, 
and you ask Elliot Hulse questions, it's going to be about how can I support you in becoming a stronger version of yourself so you can inspire other people to do the same, not to fit in the square fucking hole that you've created for her body. We're all different. The expression of strength through each one of us is different. It's for us to honor, respect, appreciate, and love in one another that which has, that which is being expressed in them. That's it, dude. That's my rant. That's my rant on getting over the way your girlfriend looks and supporting her and becoming a stronger version of herself first. And then I can promise you that if you're sincere in your efforts towards inspiring her to become a stronger version of herself, regardless of what that looks like, she's going to come around and she's going to do all the things that are associated with fulfilling that purpose. My wife just started working out about three years ago. Imagine, Elliot Hulse's wife, I've been training since I was 13 years old, 14 years old, and I've been dating her since the same time had no interest in working out and not once did I impose my will on her to do what I do so that she, she could be more like me and that she sh could fulfill the imaginary role of what a woman should be in my demented mind. And we still love and appreciate and grow in our strength together 20 years later and now she works out because she wants to, not because of me. Good luck. Yo, Elliot.